<laughs> Welcome back to Power Sap Entertainment, where we. What the hell is that? Oh, for a second I thought that was an alien. Oh. What the? Throughout most of my life, I've always wondered when our planet would eventually implode in on itself. And one of the most logical conclusions I could come up with would be during an alien invasion. Whether or not you believe in aliens, I think it's always important to have a game plan. So let me present you with a scenario. One day you're chilling on the sidewalk, drinking some deliciously refreshing water juice, when an alien walks up to you and says, Listen up, man. We alien dudes are getting a little overpopulated. Alright, so we're gonna have to blow you guys up if you don't give us a good reason to keep you alive. Whoa, that's pretty cool. The destruction of your civilization is cool? Nah, it's just that when you talk, these captions show up near you. Is that some kind of alien technology? W whoa I'm, I'm scared. Alright, so now you're tasked with pleasing this alien ambassador and making sure that he doesn't wipe out all of humanity. What do you do? This is what my brother said he would do. Go go ahead, Julio. T tell, tell the people at home what you would do in an alien invasion. Um, I would show them Shrek. No. The movie. And see if they, if they sign a peace treaty with me. Because you know why? Because Shrek is green. And they'll be like... Shrek is green. I'm not gonna help you. Personally, I think that if you want to survive, we need to keep aliens as far away from memes as possible. One look at Twitter could seal our fate. Don't even get me started on this guy. I think what I would do is slowly assimilate the alien into our culture. First I'd give him a gender neutral name like, like Donkey Kong, and then dress it in the traditional garb of our people. This t-shirt feels cheaply made, but why does it say Supreme? Because you're the ultimate life form, of course. What? Then afterwards, I'd take the alien to the happiest place on Earth. Six Flags. Just kidding, do they still even make Six Flags? I'm pretty sure that guy in the commercials is dead. Well, that got dark. I'd take it to Disneyland and show them all the happy families running around. Look! Look how happy they are just to hug that rat. Here, every life form is respected. Then I, then I shush the, the snipers on the rooftops. Because they're trying to kill the alien. You don't need to explain it, okay? Mm -hmm. Later, we'd get home and I'd be watching Lilo and Stitch or something. <laughs> look, it's an alien like me. W would you consider me your Ohana? Well, that movie's a little dated. That doesn't mean family anymore. Now, fam means family. W would you consider me your fam? Then I'd look Donkey Kong straight in the eyes and say, Of course, fam. Then we'd hug and the stars would appear to symbolize the passage of time. The next day, Donkey Kong would ask me, who made that movie? And I'd say Disney. Then he'd point to an Avengers poster and say, Who made this? And I'd say Disney. Finally, he'd flip through the television and land on the History Channel. And before he has a chance to ask me, I answer, Well, this is owned by ABC Broadcasting, which is technically owned by Disney. Look it up. Disney owns the History Channel. I'm an alien. What's up, dude? I'm gonna kill you. Who's in the mood to laugh? The Big Bang Theory. So Disney is your leader. Hmm. Take me to Disney. Knowing that Walt Disney is dead, naturally I panic. Nah, man, uh, I uh, I don't have a car. That's fine. We could take the mothership. Oh no. When I'm in the mothership, I notice that there are alien babies running around, unsupervised, while their mothers are crying. I make it to the control room, and I'm greeted by the Council of Elders. Hello, Carlos. We have heard a lot about you. Plug in the coordinates so you may meet Disney. So so we may meet Disney. Look. I'm gonna be 100% Gucci with you. Walt Disney has long since passed, but the values he has instilled within us still still live on. I'm sure that together, we can learn to coexist. Donkey Kong steps in front of me. Yeah, he's right. Their leader saw us in a positive light and their society seems to be filled with nothing but positivity. We've gone through a lot together and this man is someone who I am proud to call my fam. That's when I whip out my dynamite. No. Boom. Alien invasion stopped. Thank you so much for, well, for watching this video. Hey, shout out to Danny Casal for voicing some lines for the alien. He has a YouTube channel where he does alien voices. Uh, you guys probably already know who he is. So here's some out of context footage from 2011. Let's go, Superman. I am Superman. Look at this, dude. He's not even. Not good at Overwatch. 